Hi everybody, Chris Petrie. Welcome back. We're going to talk about ultra wet watercolors um, with with uh, watercolor artists. A lot of times you'll notice that um, we're we're pretty much artists that like to experiment a lot and uh, try um, different techniques a lot, and and that's kind of part of the watercolors. Um, genre of uh, art. Um, I guess because watercolor is so challenging, um, the uh, watercolor artist is always trying to kind of like figure out new techniques, how to how to do things a little easier, how to get a certain look in their watercolor paintings, and, and um, trying new techniques that they see other artists, uh, other artists using, or if they see something in a picture that they like, they try to figure out how they got that look in the picture by practicing different things with their with their watercolors and their paints and their paper and so forth and brushes. So here we're looking at the uh, ultra wet watercolor um, um, technique. So what I did was I just I will, I will kind of run down a quick quick way to do some really beautiful exciting uh, wet watercolors um, with just some simple steps. Um, so here we have um, a uh, tray, which is a watercolor lid from a, from a palette, a watercolor palette, and you can kind of see it's about maybe uh, three quarters of an inch uh, deep. Um, you could also use a, a cooking pan, like let's say a uh, baking dish or something. Um, the only thing you have to worry about is you have to make sure the paper fits inside the um, the pan with a, with enough room around it. So um, it could fit perfectly in the pan as long as it does fit in though and can be set into the pan. Um, so this pan's uh, uh, obviously larger than we need, but it's going to work perfect, right? So what we did was um, we just take a pan like this, and we fill it with just uh, just about a, uh, maybe a halfway up with water, so maybe like a quarter of an inch of water. And what we do is we'll put our, our good quality watercolor paper in there to soak up the um, water. So what we would do, the, the first step would be... Um, you would you would pick your subject matter that you like so you would um, pick your subject matter you get your paper and you do your preliminary sketch so we we get our paper we like we get our subject matter we're gonna we're gonna work on and then you know we would um, let's say we would do our our sketch And so whatever that might be. You know, a sailboat maybe and a couple different things, right? So we do our drawing, our preliminary drawing. First, that's fine. The pencil drawing gets completed. We do our pencil drawing as we normally do. Then we uh, we fill up our pan with water. And then we take our watercolor, dry watercolor paper with our pencil drawing, and we drop it into that bath of water. And then what we do is we leave it in there for about 15, 20 minutes. We can walk away from it. Go, we can go do something else, you know, maybe uh, uh, a few other things around the studio. And then once 15, 20 minutes goes by, this paper will be completely soaked with water. Then all we do is we just take it out of the water bath and then just drain off the excess water for about 30 seconds. Then once we do that, we we um, and you can do that on the side, soaking your 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 paper. So then now, you're going to be using a a masonite board, or you could use a glass top table, but uh, but something flat, and something that you can spray water on. So a glass top table works, or a masonite board, or you know something of this nature. Then we soak this a lot. So maybe an hour before we're doing our pro our watercolor ultra wet watercolor we're, we're spraying down our masonite board so that it's nice and damp so that when it comes time once we take our paper out of the bath that that bath of water we we put it down onto the board and it, it sticks like glue right onto the board and then we have a perfect working uh, surface with our watercolor paper which is drenched with water so at this point now you have your paper it's fixed to your your board or your glass if you have a glass top table you're working on in your studio and then we can go in and we can start doing our, our washes over the top so when you're doing your washes you know you 
we'll turn this over and I'll zoom in a little I'm trying to see how this okay I'm gonna have to tilt my table just a little bit so we can get a better look at this that looks a little better so what I'm trying to do is kind of show you what the first wash looks like here we'll also see it in part two but this is what you're gonna come up with basically you can have a nice beautiful um, diffused looking water color paint on your paper and you can mix different colors as you go so you can kinda of see the effect of it there's l that that paper with lots of water on it is gonna give you a really beautiful effect so that's something that um, watercolor artists can take advantage of in their watercolor art is by using the, the beautiful um, ultra wet look of just the paper soaked and then that watercolor paint going onto that paper it just does beautiful things so here you can see how I did the preliminary drawing first of course and then we did the bath of water we put that drawing into the bath of water and then we put this down onto the masonite board the damp masonite board and then we went in and we I used this, um, some square brushes and then I just gently put in the colors and just let it mix and mingle and I filled in my areas with with the watercolor paint and did a little bit of mixing you can see this is nothing really too sophisticated when it comes to colors some blues and greens in the water some greens in the trees here and then some uh, golds and some light red for the roof and the uh, and the foreground here on this side and then the second part we'll go in and we'll start using the really really darks and we'll start doing like our line work on this drawing so the advantage to this is we start off with that pencil drawing so now once we get this beautiful light wash of color on there which is basically your light tones and your maybe light, uh, middle, middle tones as well so middle tones here middle uh, tonal values Th then then all that's really left is we can go in and do our line work with some darker paint some thick rich uh, paint right out of the tube on our palette so let's go on to part two but I wanted to catch everybody up to speed so that when I start part two you'll kind of see how we got to that point so again just to kind of go over the process so it's pretty simple to remember is you know we started off with um, a pencil drawing on our a good quality watercolor paper and then we um, took that and we put it into a bath of water for about 15 or 20 minutes and let it soak up all the water and then once about 20 minutes goes by the paper is completely soaked with water we just drain it off for about you know 30 seconds let the excess water drain off and then we drop it right onto the damp uh, masonite board and it sticks down just like f perfectly flat and you can work flat with this you can put an angle on your board um, I worked with a little angle I think on this but in any case we have the the uh, paper sticks right down to the board the damp board and then we go in and we do our watercolor washes and once we do that first wash we come up with that which is uh, a really nice wet diffused watercolor look and then the final part would just be to go in and do the line work so we'll do on part two we'll do the line work and you'll see how it really comes together and looks great with the uh, dark uh, tonal values in our line work and it kind of just makes the whole picture just uh, come together and it, and it, it looks like a, a beautiful finished uh, uh, nice uh, looking uh, artistic painting uh, when we're completed alright so let's move on to part two um, and we'll get started with our line work